my name is Rack Noble. You're tuning into Boxing UK. Today we have Dave Coldwell. Dave, how's your night been this night? Yeah, it's been good. I've, uh, I've enjoyed it. I've had a great result with Hopi Price. And um, it's been a great atmosphere down here. So just talk us a bit through about the Hopi Price win. Of course, to got him out there in the fourth. Did he do what he needed to do? You feel as a coach? Yeah, 100%. Everything I asked him to do, he did like straight away. Um, that's his seventh fight. Um, he's, he's developing fantastically. He's, he's got a great mentality, great mindset, tons of ability. And now, with the things that we're working on in the gym, you're starting to see, you know, his last three fights, you're starting to see that he come. Whereas everyone was saying, oh, he's feather fisted. He's not so feather fisted now. So what will be the next step for Hobie Price? What direction and how long do you think you'll be getting him before he steps up to the next level? Um, well, bear in mind his last fight, he fought a kid that was 16 and 1. Um, the fight before that, he fought a, an Italian prospect that was it's own Italy and he was 5 and 0. You know, he's fought a, a good Mexican now that's going to give him a, a good test, being with people like Navarrete and people like that, well experienced, and you've just seen the job that he did on him. So he's stepping up in, in good levels. That's his seventh fight. So Leeds in six weeks time, I'm looking at, I would like, I've asked for, I asked for before tonight. Um, I would like people like Riaz Mahmood, um, uh, Joe Ham, good fighters. Just jo, uh, Joe Ham's just boxed uh, English champion, Jack Bateson. Uh, the other kids boxed uh, Chris, uh, Chris Burke. Boxing good people that are, that are above OP in, in, in the division right now. So, in his eighth fight, I think that's a good level, good level fight for him. Talking of another prospect who's making his move up, Jordan Gill fights for the European title next month. How's Jordan getting on? Two weeks. My, my apologies, my head's all over the plate. It's late. How's Jordan been looking for his European title fight? Yeah, brilliant. I'm, I'm over the moon with him. He's another one that's got a, a great attitude, lives a life, and a lot, a lot of hard, hard times over these past couple of years. Um, and hopefully, this fight has been kept getting put back, kept getting put back. But hopefully, now he gets the fight, he gets the win, and he can, he's got his heart set on this European title. And hopefully, everything goes to plan and he puts on a performance that he's been putting on regularly and consistently and becomes European champion. And on to another member of your Golden Stable right about now, Lerone Richards, current IBO world champion in the top 10 of the Ring magazine. Little introductions, little introductions needed. How's Lerone looking and when's he going to be out next anytime? Really good. I'm just, um, he's back in the gym now. Um, I'm just waiting to find out. Probably April, late April, probably May. I'm just waiting for a date for him. Um, a couple of names that they've mentioned to me, I'm just waiting on. Um, if they come off. But nice fights from this stage, his development. Um, he's a talent, man. He's good. I was, I was sat with him watching this fight and I was saying to him, I, I say what you want. He would have this version of Danny Jacobs. He would have taken apart. He would have taken apart. Make no mistake about that. People think that Lerone can't punch. If he couldn't punch Gongora, they walked straight through him. Because Gongora was the man that was like everybody was worried about as a beast, and he walked through everybody. He couldn't walk through Lerone. So Lerone's got the skills. I know he's not a knockout merchant, but he's hard enough to get your respect and steady up. The skills that he's got, the talent that he's got, the ceiling is right up there. So, again, he's only 16 fights into his career, 16, 17 fights into his career. He needs, he needs exciting fights. He needs fighters with, you know, where we can gain something from, from by fighting them. Be it by soaking up a lot of experience or gaining somebody's ranking like a Chudinov or somebody like that, do you know what I mean? But, yeah, we'll see. We'll, we'll, we'll see what's next one. Talking of Ryder, of course, Oh, right, Jacobs. After the fight, Jacobs didn't look pleased at the decision. Looked like he thought it was hard done by. Um, he will probably be looking to get back out there again. Would that be a fight you would be willing to take for Lerone, Danny Jacobs in New York City? 100%. Like I said, I was, uh, I've, I've said what I've said, you know, in regards to how I think Lerone would do with, with Danny Jacobs. If Danny Jacobs still wants to carry on, which is hard to say because he's, he's got the Canelo money, he's been paid shitloads to come over here. So you think, oh, what's his ambition? Um, but if he still wants to have another run at it, well, Lerone's top 10 ranked in the Ring magazine. So he can at least look at that. Oh, and he's got the IBO. So maybe Danny thinks, well, I'm not going to get a crack at the four. Maybe I want a crack at an IBO to ride off in, you know, as a homecoming Brooklyn fight or anything like that. If that's the case, Lerone Richards will gladly get on a plane, 
go over to Brooklyn, Barclays Center, and beat Danny Jacobs. Sounds like you're calling them out. Sounds like an offer. Is that an offer? No, 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 because he's a great fight. And against somebody that's top, rank, top, top 10 ranked in a ring magazine. That's what Lerone is. So he ticks a couple of boxes there. So, but he might, he might not want to carry on. And, and, and to be fair, I would like, I like Danny Jacobs. I like his story. I like how he's come through. So I would like to see him retire. What other fighters who you could say are still probably much in the months of their career? What about a John Ryder, um, a Caleb Plant? Would you be confident enough to be put him in? 100% Caleb Plant. Uh, as, as I've said already, I said to Frank, if that fight came up, Caleb Plant, we take it. 100%. John Ryder's going to get a John, John Ryder's going to get a crack at WBA World Title now. So there's no point in talking about John Ryder. And I hope John wins a World Title because he's had a hard career and he's, he's, a, he's a nice kid, honest kid. Don't shout his mouth off about anybody. He's just gone around his career and it took him a long time, but he's got there now. So let Ryder go and get his world title fight and win his world title and, and, and I can be a fan and I can I can be happy for him. Could potentially be if Ryder wins the title, Lerone Ryder. If, 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 there's so much to go. Lerone's got to get a couple of fights under his belt, meaningful fights that are going to put him in that in that bracket. But And, and Ryder's got to get his world title shot and win it. It's boxing, so we don't know when that's going to happen, so it's not even worth having that conversation. I just want to see Lerone get his shit going and Ryder win his world title, and then we'll see what happens. When the time comes, we'll talk about it then, but for now, just a lot of ifs and we'll see where it goes. Thanks Dave for your time. You, Safe drive back up to Sheffield, and uh, we'll catch you around on the Twitter spaces at yeah, some point. Nice one. Thank you. Cheers, man. Nice one.